Hi everybody, it's Bird Nerd again. Um, I had a request, somebody asked me to let them know what my first symptoms of scleroderma were. Um, it depends on the individual. For me, I got really, really sick. I was hospitalized because they thought I had colitis and it just went on from there. Nobody really recognized it for what it was. And it took a few years. I got tested for everything from lymphoma to other types of cancer, like I said, to colitis. And it finally took some blood work and other testing to find out what was really going on. Now for me, one of the first symptoms I really know it had, but didn't pay much attention to was, it's called Raynaud's phenomenon. And when you get that, your extremities, like your fingers, your toes, your earlobes, your nose, will turn white when there's temperature changes, um, especially if you get cold. It's awful when you take a bath. Um, and you can may be able to see it in my hands today. It doesn't tend to show well up well on my iPad, but anyway, I will try. You can see the white patches there. That is called secondary Raynaud's phenomenon. And I'm not exactly sure of the mechanism behind it. It's due to the capillaries in my fingers not functioning properly. And they also go into spasm and shut down from what I understand. And they don't, they just don't form properly. I also have what's called uh, splinter hemorrhages at the base of my fingers. They're tiny little red spots. And again, if you were to look at them through a microscope, you could see that they're not formed properly. The capillaries, they just don't. Now you can also get Raynaud's, it's called primary Raynaud's, and you can just get that for no real reason, and it's not dangerous, and it doesn't really mean anything. Most people have that their whole life, you don't suddenly develop it. And apparently, from what I understand, if you have primary Raynaud's, it's usually symmetrical. You get it on both hands, and it looks about the same. I get it differently on both hands. So that's kind of a difference right there. And if you start seeing that, I would highly recommend you talk to your doctor because if you do have an autoimmune disease, you can also get it in lupus. Um, my daughter gets it even though she has an unspecified autoimmune disease. Um, if you can get it treated, the sooner you can prevent a lot of the damage they do. And since it's one of the very early signs, it, it just makes sense to talk to your doctor. Even for your own peace of mind, if they can test it and say, hey, you don't have anything serious going on, this is just primary rain, it's, it's a nuisance, but it won't hurt you, that, that can really, really make you feel so much relief. My mom used to get that, that's how I know about that. And in me, because I also have Sjogren's Syndrome, it really hit my mouth hard. That's part of why I'm wearing a mask, because I had to have all my teeth extracted, and the scleroderma causes sores in my mouth, so I can't wear my dentures most of the time. And I hate people seeing me without my teeth. It's just one of those things. And anyway, uh, so that's me, bird nerd, the scleroderma patient wandering around through the woods. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and a great weekend. Bye.